Amazing Space by Ben Bogart, Miss Dixon's Third Grade, Fall 2008. A little space humor. Question, what did the astronaut cook for lunch? An unidentified frying object! <laughs> Today I'm going to tell you about the planet Mars and show you some pictures of interesting things on this planet. Most people know, just know this planet as the Red Planet, but there are many more mysteries and discoveries being made every day. This is our current solar system. Notice that Pluto is now called a dwarf planet. And there are two more dwarf planets, UB313 and Cirrus, located behind Mars. One of the reasons Mars is red is because it's surrounded by rust-colored iron dust. Mars is anywhere from 35 million to 249 million miles away. It would take eight months to get there on a spaceship. Mars is the most similar planet to Earth, but it has lots of interesting differences. For example, its diameter is only 53% that of Earth. That means it's about half the size of Earth. But a Martian year is twice as long as an Earth year. So if we were living on Mars, we would all be about four years old, because a Mars year is double that of an Earth year. On Earth, I weigh 72 pounds, but if I went to Mars, I would weigh 27 pounds because Mars has less gravity. That means we would be very strong and could lift things as big as a car. Mars can get as, my, as cold as minus 225. Brrr and as hot as 68 degrees Fahrenheit. The Mars atmosphere is toxic because it contains 1% carbon dioxide. Earth has almost none of this poisonous gas in its atmosphere. The last difference is that Mars gets less than half the sunlight that Earth does. These are Mars's two moons, Demis and Phobos. Demis is only 7 miles across and means panic, and Phobos is 14 miles across and means fear. These are space cam cameras called orbiters. They have taken many pictures of Mars and its surface. When Mars is under a dust storm, it can cover the entire planet. On the left is a photo of Mars on a clear day. Look at the right. The same view of the planet, except you can't see the surface because it's covered by a dust storm. This is a NASA photo showing light, lightning bolts in a Martian dust storm. The bolts occur from the buildup of static electricity from the dust particles rubbing against each other. This is not a photo, but an illustration by a scientist showing geysers on Mars. They form when CO2 heats up and builds up pressure. Under water ice, it all erupts, taking dirt with it. Boom! This satellite image shows a mountain nearly 15 miles high and almost 2 miles deep. It is 63 miles wide, which is farther then from here to Tampa, it's about the size of Arizona. The Valley's Marineries is much bigger than the Grand Canyon in the United States. It is 1,000 miles long, which is from here to California. Some sections are 40 miles wide. That's from here to Arcadia. That makes this the largest canyon ever found by mankind. Mars has many large craters, the largest of which can hold the state of Texas. The Mars Express Orbiter discovered a small lake of ice located in a crater in the vastus borealis region of Mars. That shows there's frozen water on Mars. Wow! This was a big surprise. Did you know that the northern polar region has water snow and the southern, southern polar region has CO2 snow? Wow! Finding water is the key to finding life. The red areas in this photo of the entire surface of the planet have the highest percentages of water, while the blue has the least. The white shapes show that the, these 
that these far, five Mars landers have only landed in the parched desert reason, regions of this planet. I wonder why that is. This photo shows dried up rivers on Mars from its ancient history. But it, it also looked li like there are roads. A stream certainly can't flow into a river, then climb out on the other side. Imagine what that means if there are, or were, roads on Mars. This is the Mars Phoenix Lander that is on Mars right now. It carries many scientific instruments that are controlled from Earth. It is measuring the weather, taking samples of the soil, and taking pictures of things around it. This summer, the greatest discovery was made when the Mars Phoenix touched and tasted real Martian water for the very first time. In photo one, you see a picture from, the, from Google satellite taken over the desert of White Sands in New Mexico with trees in it. In the photo number two, you see a picture of the polar region of Mars. It was taken by a satellite camera orbiting Mars. Are these trees? If so, that means there's life on Mars. That would be the biggest Mars discovery ever. This model shows what a Mars sand dune with trees might look like up close. You can almost see the branches of these on these trees. There are still other unexplained mysteries on Mars. Although some people think this is just a mountain on Mars with shadows, it could also be a Martian work of art or a mass or a message to passerby. The, this picture was taken by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and appears to be a smiley face on the planet's landscape. This NASA orbiter took this image on a special high-definition camera. The happy face can be seen in a crater three kilometers wide in the Nimdrum Montes. Here you see an outline of a dolphin. It can be seen in this satellite photo. To help everyone see it better, the shape is highlighted in the copy below. Another amazing picture from a Mars satellite. It appears to be a door entrance in a very strange mountain. Take a look. I am baffled by what looks like a footprint on top of the mountain. NASA's spirit Mars rover took, the, took this picture on the left of what looks like a statue of a sitting person. It looks a bit like the Little Mermaid statue, Copenhagen, Denmark. I wonder how a statue would get on Mars. No one knows what this is for sure. It could be a lighthouse or some other natural phenomenon. Scientists wonder if this is really a pyramid. You can definitely see the resemblance to the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. These are tunnels in the Martian soil. Nobody knows what they do. Openings in the soil sh show a network of glassy and clear underground tubes. The bright spots might be a reflection from the sun, suggesting these tubes are made of glass or plastic. The close-up shows white bands that go all the way around the tubes. This is a painting of the Martian tubes by an artist named John Biko. His painting looks very much like the tubes in the satellite photos. He believes these are either water pipes or a transportation system, like a subway. A question to consider. Are we the only intelligent species ever to have lived under the sun? To be addressed at a future time. In closing, question, which chocolate bars do you eat in space? Answer, Milky Ways and Mars bars. These are books I read from Amazon.com. I also read many pages on the internet. This is a good quote to end my presentation with because it was made by a famous leader of a major country and speaks to people who are skeptical about life on other planets. 
It states, man will occasionally stumble over the truth, but most of the time he will pick himself up and continue. Winston Churchill. The End, created on September 20th, 2008 by Ben Bogart in Lakewood Ranch. We have an update. Winter on Mars is approaching, and that may not be good for the Phoenix lander. In the winter, without sun, Phoenix will not be able to use solar-powered equipment. She will be covered with carbon dioxide snow, but NASA has a software program called Lazarus. It is hoped to wake up Phoenix next summer.